Well, money intended to help families is being stolen by thieves. These are food stamps and cash benefits and it amounts to hundreds of thousands of dollars. WMAR2 News' Mallory Safaste was among the first to report this issue and she has since learned that reported losses this year are triple what they were for all of last year. She has more on how victims are having to work to protect their benefits because if it matters to you, it's a matter for Mallory. The state isn't replacing these stolen benefits. We know they can. California and D.C. are doing it. But the Maryland Department of Human Services says money hasn't been appropriated to help these people. So for victims, that means not paying rent for a month, relying on food banks, and hoping it doesn't happen again. It's 12 o'clock. I'm going to go to the ATM, see if I can get my money off. Hopefully everything good. Paris Respis is at an ATM in Baltimore withdrawing her temporary cash assistance before someone else can. All right, I'm at the second eight today. I had to go to a different one. Only had a $200 minute. She doesn't feel safe walking around with a full wallet late at night, but she's taking a chance because she knows what can happen if she waits until morning. I woke up about six, seven o'clock in the morning. They said that my check was gone. I called back and they said that all of it was taken out at ATM 725 East Eden Street. Last month, thieves took $500 from Paris's account at the same ATM where a handful of others had their money stolen. And when these victims report this fraud to the Maryland Department of Human Services, they're told they won't be reimbursed. About 1.36 in the morning, um, an ATM withdrawal uh, of $1,000 was taken off my card from my TCA. Christian Herbert uses that cash to pay her rent and care for her three kids and younger sister. I don't have no understanding on why they're not reimbursing um, a program that is meant for children to not go hungry. We've learned from DHS this kind of fraud has more than tripled compared to last year. Reported losses exceed 286,000 for the first half of 2022, compared to 92,000 for all of 2021. In April, the department issued a fraud alert advising customers to change their pins. I have changed my card. I have changed my pin. Um, they have not given us anything to let us know that our funds will be safe and secure. The department believes thieves are cloning and replicating cards, but it's unclear how they're obtaining pin numbers to withdraw cash at ATMs. How are they able to get our personal information and duplicate cards and I had my card in my possession. Like how were they able to even do that? Have my social, change my pen. How were they able to do that? And Conduent, the vendor awarded a $30 million contract by the state to issue these benefits, hasn't yet provided customers with enhanced security features. Do you feel mm. like you're being treated differently because these are federal assistance programs versus, you know, a regular debit or checking account? Yes, I feel like we're being treated way differently. It should be the same setup as if you had a regular bank card and it shouldn't be no difference. You know, the fact that we have to wait and wait and wait is it's not right. They don't trust that their money is protected. So Paris and Christian's husband plan to be in line in the middle of the night, ready to withdraw as soon as the cash hits their account. I don't want to be evicted because somebody else is stealing money from me. Every third of the month, 12 o'clock, he will be down there. I'm not going because it's Baltimore City, but he will be. He will be at that ATM 12 o'clock until they come up with something. I don't know what else to do. Conduit and DHS Secretary Lourdes Padilla declined our interview requests. A spokesman for Governor Hogan said they're familiar with our reporting on this matter and they continue to discuss it with DHS and the federal administration. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Mallory Safaste. And state senators have also sought answers from DHS. Senator Corey McRae never received a response to the letter that he sent on June 8th. And DHS did not fully answer Senator Katie Fry Hester's questions as well. Now, if you take out your phone and you scan that QR code right there on your screen, that's going to take you to Mallory's report. And there she has the letter from Senator McRae and DHS's response to Senator Hester, as well as links to her previous reporting on the issue. Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger has also said that he's interested in drafting federal legislation to address this problem. If you have a matter for Mallory, she wants to hear from you. You can email her, Mallory, at WMAR.com or find her on Facebook and Twitter.